Hello and welcome to the first job tour on WW Pulling TV. Today we are in the Green Monster Shop in Fischdorf, Germany and it's about time to start the season so they're in the last little preparing bits and we're going to meet with Dirk and he's going to show us the tractors and I'm going to show you the shop, the tools, the machines so that you guys in the States get a little bit of an idea what's going on here in Germany. Yeah. So, this is Dirk Wessel. Hi. Tell us a little bit who you are and what you're doing here and where we are. Yeah, my name is Dirk Wessel. I'm uh, 42 years old. Um, I'm a team member since, I don't know, 25, 26 years. Uh, yeah, since, uh, since I finished uh, education or school, then uh, we start with tractor pulling. And uh, so we, yeah, grow, yeah, we grow up with those, those tractors. And uh, I don't know, since since we start, we, we built four tractors, one truck, so it's, uh, yeah, it's... But it's not your full-time job? No, it's only a hobby. Yeah, hobby. <laughs> so, only hobby. So after work? So yes. Your regular work is what you do? My regular technician. work is um, some technical in, in, in a purchase department, in a, a big, uh, yeah, machine building, auto, yeah, machine building company, I don't know, yeah, something like that. So we build a production line for car industry. Okay, so like Cam Chef. Production yeah, we like just we just moved to uh, to uh, e-mobility, mobility, so uh, we stopped with uh, camshaft production. That oh. was was one of the big uh, issues we, we yeah well, parts we produce in the in the uh, in the past, uh, and now we, we go to yeah to e-mobility. So different parts, but very interesting. Okay, so yeah, production is production. Yeah, that's, so what that's you, what you make is. the parts that the other people make their parts with. That's, that's yeah, basically it. Exactly. So okay, let's have a look at the tractors. Uh, yes. We take the camera off the stand and let's show you around a bit. Yeah, perfect. See ya. So this is the way into the shop through the back door. Doesn't look that spectacular. Well, maybe it does because what we got here is the first package. But I think we'll come to that later. Let's go a little bit through the history, I would think. And let's have a look around the shop first. So, we've got one tractor, a little bit of trophies, some history, another tractor, and a third one. So, which one is the oldest? Actually, this one here is. It. Yeah. Yeah. That's the Green, Mon Green Monster 4. Uh, this year, the yeah, he got 20 years old now. <laughs> yeah, it's 20 years old. I remember that tractor pretty well because I was a little bit involved building it. Yeah. And I was still here. So maybe you can play some pictures later. <laughs> we, we just found some of them. <laughs> yeah, I have to take them with you. This is how we built that. I was already taking digital pictures back then, my first digital camera. So what we got here? Obviously, it's an Allison, but not quite the way you probably know it because yeah, that thing here is a little bit bigger as on most other Allisons. And, difficult to see now, but if we have a look in between here, which is hard to see, let's go from the back. Yeah, beautiful. These are magnetic valves. So this thing is, says here, EFI edition. So yeah, what should we start in the back or in the front of the tractor? Go through. Yeah, Let's start in the back. That's yeah, the, that's the regular stuff. So, as we said, this tractor is 20 years old and was kind of was kind of new back then. Was that we made the sheet metal rear housing? Yes. I think we were about the first guys to do that. Yeah, especially in Europe. Maybe in, in the States, uh, it was a different story. But in Europe, we have been one of the first with a, a sheet metal um, rear end. And at that time, we was also uh, the beginning that we said um, the original aluminum castings are not strong enough. Then we start with the billet uh, center section. Yeah. Uh, is, this, is this still one of our? Yes, yeah, this is the homemade. This is the homemade one. Yeah. yeah. So. Which then two years later got copied by some well-known company in the states, <coughs> and then they killed us on price. <laughs> yeah, and um, yeah, in front of that we have a. Homemade uh, reverser, so very light and um, yeah, still it's also 16 years old, I think. So no trouble with that. No. Um, yeah. yeah. Back then that was high tech. So it's um, 
I don't know, I think 18, 18 kilograms, so that means like 30, so, yeah, 36, 40 pounds. Yeah. So it's, it's not bad. No. So chassis? Yeah. Chassis is a chrome molly, uh, tube chassis. Yeah, uh, it's basically it's more or less a copy of the old red poison, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, um, because back then, the tractor they had with the triple engines back then was the chassis was built by Brian Diekman and then we more or less made a copy of that one. This is a little bit different, but the basic thinking behind it is all yeah, the same. Yeah, so the basic idea is the same. Um, we make a lot of modifications uh, since we started with the tractor. So uh, right now there are many small changes on the chassis. So um, every three, four years we make some little changes on it, but it's the, 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 the main uh, rails are still, still the old ones. Yeah, still so the same. I have a little look from behind because this is one of the few tractors, oh, it's hard to see, it's very hard to see, oh, I can't see it. Uh, I've got a focus issue, not a light issue. Well, this thing has got the uh, Mercedes Planetaries in it and it's one of the very few tractors running in the modified division. At 70, yes. 700 pounds with those small planetaries. Yeah, but it's still modified. It's, yeah. uh, it's not the original uh, Mercedes planetary. We start with that. It's a very good planetary. Uh, but um, after we, we have two, two broken planetaries in the past, and we said, okay, we have to modify it. But it's still the, the old, the, the basic idea from the planetary is still the same, and we still have the original ring gear. But um, yeah, we make some replacement gears for it and stronger carriers. Yeah. That's, that was the main problem on them. Okay, so the drive line is not in at the moment. Yeah. And we got clutch, which is all homemade, I think, except for the yeah. center list. Yeah. yeah. The bell housing is what? It's an, uh, uh, no, yeah. no, nothing spectacular. Yeah. So, flywheel, especially made for Ellison's. Got a yeah. little weird bolt pattern here. So that's the bolt pattern of the Ellison crankshaft. Yeah, so then let's get to the first engine here. Yeah, so this is more or less our test engine um, because we can run those tractor with a single engine configuration, mm -hmm. and that's the idea for us to uh, to test every change on on the engine on this uh, tractor, so we can um, see the difference on the track, um, yeah. and that's why we, for example, this got a, a new style blower. It's a, it's a little bit different to the others you maybe see later on, on yeah, the other truck. This is already a homemade blower, this is not an original Edison blower. Yeah. And this is already development of the yeah. so of that homemade exactly. blower. Yeah. So, so as I said, much we, bigger we wheel. We started a couple of years with a Procharger, but um, on those V12 engines, the, the Procharger um, got some problems, especially uh, I think for pulling, uh, yeah, pulling. Um, Tell it like it is, it kept, kept knocking the gears out. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> <laughs> we, we only can make five runs with the Procharger, then it was broken. Uh, then we decided to build something by our own, maybe a little bit, uh, yeah, middle, bit, a little bit stronger, especially on the bearings and things like that. And yeah, after a couple of years and some developments, we, we, we got a good pr a product and uh, yeah, now we can run it on our Ellison's yeah. without trouble. Yeah, and now it's development on, yeah. on the wheels. Yeah, the other thing here is, it's all belt driven, so the camshafts are belt driven, not with shafts as in the original configuration, which makes that engine a bit lighter, I think, does it? Yeah, it's a little bit lighter, so we can save almost 10 liters of oil, so maybe three gallons, something like yeah. three gallons of oil. Um, that's a big, uh, big yeah, advantage for us. And the other thing is, um, we um, on the original Allison's, we have all those gear cases for, for, the, for the blower drive, for the camshaft and all those um, uh, sliding bushes inside. And we always got trouble with those uh, bearings on high IPMs. Mm -hmm. So um, when you run those Ellison's over 4,000 IPMs, you still got problems with the bearings and the gears. And that was the idea to, to change to a belt drive so we can use industrial bearings, uh, roller bearings or things like that. And it's much easier for maintenance. So if you once got a problem with the crankshaft, crankshaft bearings, you, you can uh, yeah, remove the belts, you can uh, strip the, the cylinder heads and that's easy uh, to, to handle and you can do it uh, almost by, with one person. And in the yeah. past, uh, 
as Sasha know that um, if you uh, work on an Allison, you, you need I don't know four or six ha hands to 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 to, yeah, to true, work on that. Put it. Yes, that's true. So then, hard to see here, but we'll go to that next. That's the ignition system. Um, as I said, this thing is EFI, so it's, it's actually run by a computer. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe we can show those EFI signals. Yeah, I think we, I, I see it's all open on the other yeah. tractor. Yeah, but it's also only the, uh, the Yeah, so let's go to the course. other tractor. So that's that's the big boy. That's yeah. the green fighter. And here you can see the difference. This is the original Allison Super Sarger. With uh, with a big uh, housing for the gears and everything, yeah. um, a lot smaller intake. Yeah, so that means it's actually making a lot less power. <laughs> yeah. Also here you can see this is the injectors, which are operated by these valves electronically. So and all that electronic stuff or part of it is actually in the center of the tractor, I think. No, it's is it yeah, not in this box. Moved? But um, maybe we can yeah, we right. can open one box later. Yeah. So. But this, for example, this is the ignition system here. This engine's got 48 spark plugs. No, wrong. 24. 24. 48 on the track. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but every spark plug has its own individual coil. So you can see that's quite a mess. And every coil is operated and timed individually. So there's a lot of, a lot of things to play with and a lot of things to do wrong if you, <laughs> if you don't know what you're doing. So yeah, what is about this tractor? This was built in a couple of years later. Uh, it's basically a big rebuild. Yeah. I think the original version of this was built in 2000 or 2001. And then that one had a little crash and then basically built a copy of it. This time with a bit lighter rear end. So this is sheet metal. Which compared to the other one has the big advantage that this is a smaller housing and takes less oil. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so in the other one we made that light housing and then had to put a lot of oil in or actually <laughs> foam. But uh, yeah, so hitch oil level, nothing too fancy. So a bit fancy here, tires, meters. Yeah. We, we run all truckers on meters tires. We have been one of the first European modified teams. I, I think we have been the first modified team in Europe that was running on the meters tires. We start on meters tires on the uh, Green Monster meters edition, and then uh, after some results, we, we put the meters tires also on the Green Fighter, and uh, that was a big uh, advance in, in, for, for two years, I think. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, that, they work pretty good. They do, yeah. They figured that out in the States by now, too. But, but this is already the second set. This has got more more lux than or more camps than yeah. the others. Yeah. So, so yeah. that's also a bit a different. Yeah. yeah, that's actually new. That Corona kind of killed the progress in that because we couldn't run for two years. Yeah. yeah. So in here also. There's also a homemade uh, reverser. reverser. A little different style than on the other tractor. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's maybe the, the cheaper style and we, we run the same internal parts on, on, on the third tractor, yeah. so it's only a different housing. Yeah, also yeah. billet carrier. This yeah, is but this is Hamco, so Hamco, yeah. yeah, we switched to Hamco because it was, it was cheap and it's pretty good. So, yeah. ah, it's not, no more Hamco, it's now it's a uh, uh, GM, GM. Ah, uh, brand pain. Yeah, brand pain. Okay, yeah. yeah. So but then here. It's good quality and so yeah. perfect. As you can see, this tractor is actually built to take yeah. a third engine. Uh, maybe. Those, those, those gearboxes, uh, there have been two copies in the States. That's true. There, there, were, there was two. Th we made three of them. One for this tractor, one for Money Pit, and one, Money for, Pit and one for, yeah. for Dickman's Red Poison. Yeah. So, yeah, that was quite some yeah, collaboration back then. You see some, uh, some adapter plate for the, for the third engine. Yeah. So, we, we moved this plate and, and put the engine on it. So, yeah. yeah, let me show you. So, this is the third engine that goes in the middle on top. And actually, that's the drive with that gear under there. Maybe we can see that. Focus, focus. There's the gear. And that's just bolted on to the center. Now, this is kind of a, I wouldn't say our antique engine, but that's the only one that has not been switched to EFI yet. Yep. Basically, 
because it's a lot of wires that you need to connect to the tractor and if, it, if you want to take the engine off then it's just a nightmare and yeah and it does the job so, so we don't lose the skills for mechanical assistance yeah right <laughs> and the other thing is once they are up in high rpm it doesn't make that much difference it's not that the efi is making much more power it's just way more drivable and better low in torque so in that three engine configuration not that important okay let's see the tractor without engines <laughs> that's a totally different style from what you're probably used to know this is where Dirk went all out crazy so it's got the Mercedes Planetaries homemade calipers super light Rear and housing, it's all sheet metal, carbon fiber fenders. Mm. Hello, Rico. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so oh, much. We just got interrupted with a phone call. So, third tractor. Yeah. So, this is the latest one we built. So, it's uh, it was quite a challenge to build this tractor. It was the first time to, to get a twin Allison in the light modified here in Europe. So that tractor is 5,500 pounds with two Allisons. Yeah, exactly. So, so we have to make a lot, lot of developments and uh, yeah, thinking out of the box to, to get those uh, challenge done. And um, so yeah, it's all light rate. Um, built, for example, a drive shaft is made of titanium. Um, uh, Carbon fiber fenders, um, very light planetary, rear end housing, homemade, yeah. very light. So, have a look in the in the back. Very light calipers, homemade. Yeah. The rear end is all sheet metal. So and this time in the shape that it doesn't take much oil. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Um, <laughs> exactly. Hollow shafts, if even possible, we made hollow shafts from everything. Um, we still got a bunch of titanium screws uh, that we can uh, put on, so that's something we, we invest later on and still, they are still not mounted. Um, expensive batteries, but very strong uh, batteries, so yeah, some very small batteries inside with high power for, for the EFI system. So um, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's how we do it. And so we make one big package of Allison's, uh, more or less a, last style of uh, development um, titanium exhaust pipes yeah that's um, fun like, yeah that's also fun they're, they're like a pound or so it's just yeah it's nothing yeah so also if i oh, somebody went um, yeah that's, these are also on a lot of yeah billet parts yeah so yeah. The, the intakes here they are billet so we start with a little bit different uh, uh, manifold system. Now we, uh, yeah, in 2020, we, we uh, just before the coronavirus stopped us, um, we put those new uh, manifold system on the tractor with most better airflow, and that was still a good uh, improvement. Yeah. yeah, it was. And yeah, so yeah, small oil tanks. Yeah, small oil tanks. Yeah, and also small fuel tanks. That's sometimes uh, a little bit tricky <laughs> on a long pull. We we really have to take care of that. But um, yeah, that's that's how it is. If you, when when you go close to the limit. Yeah, it is. It's unlimited. Well, it's not unlimited in Europe, but with Allison's, that's pretty much all you can do at the moment. Yeah. So this is the gearbox with uh, with a, a reverser unit still in one piece also to to save some uh, yeah uh, shafts and everything so even uh, yeah build it together in in, in one uh, one unit um, we can uh, change the gear ratios on those uh, gearbox we can go up to uh, five or five six i think six different ratios um, so to to find the right setup, even if you change your your engine setup a little bit, so you're you're flexible. And uh, yeah, maybe I can show you later. We we just plan to build a new cross box. Those engines right now they are still uh, rotating in the same direction. Um, we start to make some new parts, uh, new cross box, uh, new camshafts, 
to to change the direction. So we will build some um, yeah counter 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 rotating. Yeah, counter rotating. Yeah, the big issue was that, that with a new blower, the possibility to change the, the rotation of the engine was gone because the the drive with the belts is just doing one way, and then to to make the engines run the other direction, you have to make yeah. a completely new supercharger. Yeah, yeah. Everything. Yeah. Exactly. So um, when we start with the belt drive, we focus on one direction, and that was uh, right-hand rotation, rotating engines. And yeah, now we, we make the step to left-hand rotating engines. So they counter-rotating, so it takes the uh, momentum out of the chassis of them. Yeah, line. exactly. Yeah. And so that should be also a little bit advantage in the future. But uh, yeah, for this season, we still have to run those, uh, yeah. Yeah, those set up here. Yeah. So what's new for this season then? For this season, yeah. So um, especially on, yeah, the biggest thing is maybe for for his uh, 20th birthday he got a new engine, a yeah, so maybe not which is missing. Maybe we should come yeah, have a look where exactly. it is. So yeah, so the second engine is a stair step configuration. The second engine is missing now. He's in the engine shop. So oh, let's go over there. We can visit Daniel. He's still working on that. Good. Why, yeah. Marcus? Boy. So oh, whoa, 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 so That's the top engine of the, the old green monster. So um, it was, are. in the past, it was still an uh, original Supersarger on it. Now we changed to the new Supersarger. Because you can see all those parts um, ready to assemble. It's polished now. Um, yeah, all those, yeah, homemade stuff or made by our sponsors. But, um, so there's nothing bought here. It's all, yeah. Basically, you draw it and get it machined. And yeah, and then we build it. Yeah. Yeah. So. So here you can see some some of the oh, assembled yeah. parts. Yeah. So that's yeah. That's some trigger wheel a wheel for 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 the EFI system. Um, on those spline we connect the, the super sacha. Okay. Again. Um, and on this uh, yeah, uh, pulleys we uh, we drive the the camshaft. Yeah. Um, so this is still the same system as we run on the front engine, so it will also have the, the same uh, uh, blower style. So that's the latest style we, we built. And those. But yeah. this is going to be left hand now, or that's, that's the old style. That that's was the old the, that's the one we, we run uh, for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. That was the first time. Uh, that was the first blower, the homemade blower. That okay, was the, that's the that's number the, one. The prototype. Yeah, yeah, the prototype number one. And now we got. Uh, I think it's a. Yeah, I don't know. If maybe the third edition we run now. So um, the first, the, the impeller was still the same. Then we changed uh, the housing, the, um, the yeah, uh, for the airflow, the, for, for better airflow. And on the third edition, we changed the, the impeller gear and also the, the housing again. And yeah, th those make some big changes again. Yes. Yeah. And nice. So yeah. <laughs> So those those uh, those changes should give us some some more horses on on those tractor and so maybe a little bit more fun in yeah. the modified. Yeah, seventy seven hundred pounds, two engines. This tractor was second and runner up or third in the European Championship. Oh, first. So Last time we were we were actually a European champion. Uh, yeah. So because of Corona, there was no European Championship since nineteen uh, twenty nineteen, and yeah. we're still uh, European yeah. champion. So actually, first. at the moment, it's the current European champion, which is kind of surprising. Given yeah. the fact there's other guys running triple BAE and stuff like that, so yeah. Yeah. it's keeping up. Not sure how that's going to be, to be in the future, <laughs> but uh, well, yeah, it's, 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 it's a one-day competition, so it's always all a little bit luck. But yeah, you still have to to um, to make your runs. And, yeah, and uh, you still have to be competitive. I mean, yeah. how many people run two Ellisons in the seven mod and still compete? Yeah, exactly. So uh, yeah, we we happy about that. So. Um, yeah. The last year have been very successful for us. Um, and yeah, but yeah, that's that's a, the, the fun for us. Yeah, so yeah. we're still working on those old engines and can comp yeah, we are able to to compete with with those uh, uh, Brent Anderson engines and yeah turbines. So yeah, that's good. Yeah, hope so. Yeah, a few crankshafts. Yes. So. I think most block. of them are most of them are ready for 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 assembly. So they are, um, yeah, um, Oops, maybe, yeah, they are um, grinded and uh, balanced. Um, yeah, so um, 
if we find some time, we we start we we will start to to make some engines, uh, put them together, and we we always try to have uh, maybe some basic engines. So crank house and crank shaft with connecting rods, ready for ready for for assembly. Yeah, for assembly. So it, in uh, during the season, it's easy to to uh, yeah build up a new engine if if, if necessary. Yeah. So then there's. Three more blocks yeah. in here. Some, some, has some piston history. <laughs> oh yeah, the development of Ellison piston. <laughs> some yeah. <laughs> up to I think uh, this year, up to this year is original uh, compressions, and this is uh, some. Yeah, but you're not running the very high compression ones. Yeah. I think they did like half track and then came out, but not of our engines. No. Okay, so. Yes, yeah, you can see most of the stuff is made here in the shop. It's not like, you know, bring it out to the machine shop. It's get the machine ready and do it yourself. Yeah, yeah, that's, but that's the, the thing on the Ellison engines. So uh, there's no industry behind it. So you have to think by your own and, um, yeah, follow your ideas. Yeah, that's also the fun part on this team that I always liked. The fact that you can be creative. I mean, you have to be creative. <laughs> okay. Should we have a little tour upstairs before we go into some more details? Or? Yeah, I think so. That's maybe well, some. let's go to the holy grail of Ellison parts. That's yeah. the m biggest shocking thing for so most people. It's some Ellison heaven. Yeah, Ellison Wonderland, as we call it. Yeah. Now, this is Driveline Wonderland. This is a little bit Driveline Wonderland. Um, so here we got some um, spare differentials. Um, some center section, some replacement gears. Um, also, to have an idea because of the, the the weight issue on the light modified. So this is the last style of, of gears we, we try. So it's still a, a try. It's the first time we, we create them that's that, uh, like this. But yeah, we will see. But that will save us a lot of weight. Of course it will. Yeah. So. More clutches, differentials. Yeah, they make your own differentials too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah some, some more gears for different yeah. cross boxes. No, here, here you can see some original uh, Mercedes planetary parts. Yeah, as as I said before, the ringer is still in use, but um, we we run uh, a little bit different gears on them. So some homemade, a little bit a little bit wider than original. Mm -hmm. Those are the planetary gears for it, and yeah. The usual stuff you need to take part in the season. Spare parts. Yep, we're gone. Okay. And now the this is the history part, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Most of the parts here are history. Um, yeah, those are all those original. Ellison parts, some of them are still in use, but most of them are, um, yeah. Yeah, not in use anymore. Yeah, all of those parts, like blower those wheels original are blowers. Um, so anyway. This is the, the main drive for the accessory housing. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, shafts and gears over and over and over. Exactly. An original accessory housing. Yeah. Yeah. Cam shafts, blanks, and. Yeah. Carburetors. Anybody need carburetors? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we got some. Noses. Mm. More intakes. Hillborn and homemade. And yeah. Maybe some something interesting. Maybe for the one or the other person. So these are forged blankets for gears. So yeah. every gear we build is uh, made from forged material. Yeah. So this will be some forged material for, for gear with some um, bearing. Uh, yeah, to adapt and bearing directly on the so gear. That, that but it's still, it's, 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 it's expensive, but it's uh, very high quality. Um, yeah, maybe the same for, for um, um, uh, shaft uh, axles. Spline. Yeah, yeah axles. Yeah, so the yeah. forged axles. Yep. Yeah. Ring gears. Not messing around. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And again, some, some a few more blocks. Yeah. So those fives are also 
ready for assembly. The other ones are uh, maybe they need some work. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's not all good stuff. They, they got some bad ones in the past. Yeah, we got some more accessory housings. Up there's original ox blowers, yeah. which we have never used. This here is something like a homemade uh, flow bench for the cylinder heads. Uh, yeah. So, um, so you can, can do that yourself. Yeah, if we. If we uh, so some winter work, so if we. We would we'll try to get some more yeah, flowers. If somebody gets then bored, then he can start machining 48. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, but it's yeah. interesting to, to see what, what happens on an, on an uh, yeah, intake if you change some, some details. That's true. Yeah, mm -hmm. here for example. Yes, the, we, we, we talk about those titanium exhaust pipes and it's, it's nothing. nothing. Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> yeah. And here again. Some yeah, here's some original World War II made yeah. valves. Some Still in the original box. <laughs> yeah. So, just looking if I can see them. Ap April 42. Yeah. So, again, original pistons, maybe some modified vacations done yeah. by us in the past. Um, the old joke here was if somebody wants to buy parts, shoot your own. <coughs> no. <laughs> yeah, and um, a lot of silent ads Cylinder from banks. Yeah, Look yeah, and that. I think from all over the world. Yeah, a lot of uh, old dusty diamond stuff. Maybe you can. Yeah, see Mike Holden the, and yeah. I think Archer's first Ellison collection is in here. Yeah. Uh, uh, Two or engines. DJ Potter, some Potter, DJ Potter stuff. Some Potter stuff. Um, Popeye stuff from, from Europe. Um, yeah, uh, Bargy's Judge stuff is ended up here. here. Some of it, not all. Yeah. Another yeah. interesting, interesting yeah. part. Good old, Good old W24 yeah. block and crank. This is actually EJ's old engine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. That's, that's double ugly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, all those parts. Ah, connecting yeah. walls. Connecting walls, springs on top. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. More crankshafts. Short Ellison cranks, long Ellison <laughs> cranks. Short <laughs> Ellison cranks. Every, everything you, you need. <laughs> Save more weight. Yeah. Original exactly. ignitions. Original spark plugs. Yeah, also from the 40s. Yeah. Yeah, and more yeah. gears. Oh, that, that's my collection. It's a good old yeah. fuller gears. That I use from fuller gears, gears. Still some original Rockwell gears, but with a big shaft. Yeah, there's that's, that's so much detail. When you say original Rockwell, it means that you don't run original Rockwell. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, yeah we want some different stuff. <laughs> some some uh, from Italy, some uh, some aftermarket. In the, in the light modified, we can still run aftermarket yeah, gears. The big one takes the custom build for years. Yeah. Except yeah, in opinions. Yeah. Yeah, if you float us for the season. Yeah. That's Alice in Wonderland. Exactly. Wanna show some rods and stuff or do you have any, everything put into engines? No, we, we got some. Yeah, let's even more detail. I go stand in the corner. Yeah, that's some some of the new new stuff for us. Some some homemade connecting rods. Uh, yeah, so it's billet. A billet, yeah, strong stronger material, so a little bit more uh, reliable. And yeah, we we run them on not in every engine right now, but yeah, most of them. Yeah. Every every new engine will replace uh, will <laughs> get replacement rods. Yeah, as long as the old ones are good, you don't yeah. change them. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But we can also see it on on, on bearings and everything, so you have less uh, less uh, how to say yeah. that less wear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So yeah, they stay straight. That's that's the thing with the with the original rods. They they kind of twist and yeah. bend and yeah. then they're getting out of line. And that's when you often have bearing issues or even kicking rods out. Mostly that the bearings got stuck because the rod was twisted. And I just have to see if I can find those new bearings. You're too organized. Ooh. And then we we finally find a company in, in here in Germany who can build us um, new main main bearings. And uh, yeah, those those ones also they work pretty good, and we can get get them in different uh, sizes, uh, oversize. Yeah, that's the big issue. A lot of Allison cranks cannot be used anymore because there was no oversized bearings. And uh, now with these, yeah. those, basically um, all the old stock can be reground and rebuilt and yeah. used again. So exactly. that, that, that kind of opened up the whole... Yeah, that's, that's a big, way uh, it, w it was a big issue for us. So um, we went out of bearings and then we have to, to, yeah, to find a solution. Otherwise we have to, to stop with Elegant. So yeah, that's, that's, not, not, not that's an how, option. Yeah, that's not an option. But <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a real problem. And um, we still are looking for, for some uh, connecting wood bearings. So this, uh, this is the next uh, step we are, we are trying. We, we got some prototype here now. But we have to yeah, put it into the engine and we, we have to see if we can, uh, yeah, can get it run. Get yeah. It, yeah, running. Yeah, these bearings, by the way, have also made their way to the US already. They have already pulled in the US and they even work there. So there's quite a bit of going back and forth between America and here. That's Marcus. <laughs> All right. Okay. Good. I think we have a good yeah. overview. Oh. Yeah, I think so. Maybe, maybe we can go a little bit to. Yeah. To have some a short impression to the shop uh, uh, next to next to the pulling area, to, so you can see um, where we can build our parts and yeah, okay, just idea. a short view. Yeah, you show us around. We okay. I follow. So now we go into the our our little machine shop. We have a lathe and the CNC uh, milling machine. Um, so yeah. yeah. So actually, the lathe, the mechanical lathe, uh, mechanical lathe. Yeah. yeah. Um, and ah, so that's so big. I gotta stick back. Yeah. <laughs> and also some some pulling parts. Yeah, they are still waiting a little bit longer to, to be machined, but we have no stress on that. Those are some carrier for, for the Mercedes planetaries. Those are the carriers we, we run on the, on, the, on, the, on the meters. So here's yeah, this one. You can see it, it's, it's dusty, it's still waiting a little bit longer here, but yeah, as, as I said before, we have no stress with those parts. And yeah. That was not broken. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, that's where we build some of our parts, but uh, our sponsors support us a lot and most of the um, five excellent jobs are done by our sponsors. Yeah, this, this stuff here is just basically for yeah, emergency and, yeah, and, and exactly. simple things. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. can get a lot of stuff done here, but yeah. the sponsors got the modern machines. And the, yeah, exactly. Then. And they're they used to it. It's a, it's a daily job. For us, it's only uh, yeah some. Uh, oh, how, some. How, damn, how I remember this. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. cool. Yeah, and then uh, we go to the to the yeah maybe how to say that steel steel. steel control. Yeah, that's actually, steel that, that, that's where the money is coming from. Yeah. <laughs> so just a short view. The dusty. Yeah, this is this is actually Hurscom company. Heavy heavy steel construction. Welding. More ah. welding, 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 welding. This might be ah! This is this is pulley stuff. It is. So this is also for for the Green Monster for some new heaters. Yeah, thanks for that. Um, titanium again. Fun. 
this titanium again? No, it's, this is steel. It's titanium steel. is still uh, only for the, for the meters, for the lightweight the tractor. Uh, for the uh, Green Fighter and the Green Monster 4, we still run those um, steel versions. They are more reliable and um, yeah, it's, it's, the other ones are quite expensive. <laughs> okay, let's get a bit noisy in here. So, yeah, they're doing stuff again that you shouldn't see by the work safety. So. Short view in the in the other part of the the main business here. It's a uh, flame flame cutting, flame cutting and laser uh, cutting. Yeah, torch. Yeah, CNC torching. Yeah, but yeah, the laser cutting is in another shop, so this is not the thing you can see right now. But yeah. That's another regular workshop here, just for tractor repair and machine repair. But it's on the commercial side. Yep. And then we can we can go go to the to uh, outside to the truck. Mm -hmm. We um, still uh, we 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 built the truck, the trailer, especially the trailer. It was uh, yeah we, we started with the trailer in 2006, and after the years uh, they, yeah you, you need some maintenance. And now we will get a yeah complete new design, and um, so we have to do the the the, the finished touch now. And then next week it will go to the designer and he will get his new, um, yeah, his new design, his and foil. Yeah, foil. foil, foil yeah. Yeah. Oh, outside of Germany. Yeah. And the good old Deutz. Back from the days when this was still a, a farm. Now it's all a steel shop. And by the way, who says Europeans don't have trucks? Not to forget the first event of the season, which we will also live stream on WW Pulling TV, is on 23rd and 24th of April, right here. Okay. Yeah. That looks like a new paint job. Yeah. First, he got his new uh, base base layer, new color, and um, yeah, as you can see, they make inside the, the store storage yeah. room um, some. We work, we built a new living area with new kitchen, everything inside. And yeah. Busy working. Uh. Okay. Yeah, some still not finished but uh, yeah, new new kitchen area, some some bedrooms upstairs. And yeah. yeah. The fun of being a tractor puller sleeping up under the roof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's that's a big team, so it's space. Yeah. New kitchen in the making. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, then yeah, this is the yeah, the transport room. So yeah. we will got one tractor backwards, lift the front end up and uh, put the other one uh, yeah, under so the hard to see but this part here actually is a ramp that goes up and the other one goes below. Yeah. Okay. That's it. That's it. So, almost done. So, only the impala and the housing and then it's fine. Done. Yeah. Well, I think this should have given you a little bit of an idea what's going on here. If you've got any questions, just write them in the comments. We are reading and replying. Dirk, thank you for taking us around. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. Or well, we can always come back if there's more to say.
But this was a first impression, so yeah. that will do for now. Okay then, have a great day and bye.